Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa, hi! Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, he, look, he looks like Frank when he was covered in hand sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a... I just want to be pure. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It is me, Sean Tanktop, and I'm over here, Casa de Tanktop, hanging out with my very good friends, Dustin and Mag and Drace over there at the Dojo Drace. How you doing over there, Draces? Good morning. Hey, Good morning. ready for a Wookiee fight. We're Wookie ready for a Wookiee fight. Like, <laughs> Wookiee fight. <laughs> uh, we are definitely getting a Wookiee fight at some point in this fucking show. I mean, like, we're doing Book of Boba Fett, by the way, everybody. Coming off of last week's episode, which I thought was, like, pr you know, a, a pretty a pretty solid banger of an episode. Had a lot of fun stuff that I liked. We had a train sequence. We had a fucking, we had the huts. We had the, the, the twins. Um, talking about the, like, twins. taking a break, taking the twin says taking a break from the debauchery of a hutta. Black Kerr Santan, I think is how they say it. But since I can't really do it that well, Morgan came up with a really great workaround. We're just going to call him the BK Broiler <laughs> over there. <laughs> We're going to call him BK Broiler. BK Broiler? Flame broiled chicken on an oat bran bun. Sounds better than strained peas. But, um, he is the Burger King. He is, yeah, man. yeah, exactly. And so, like, and and he, and just to see if if they're gonna come to blows at any point, because it was basically like we need to go. We they're the fucking made guys, and we got to get permission if we're gonna whack them. You know what I mean? And I think that I think that that's what we're gonna be doing for the most part with this with this episode. Very good fellas, very gangster movie. We can't kill these made guys, so I think that they're gonna be trying to make the case in order to do so. You know, we kind of know how this goes. I mean, like. It, it, it people they want comfort and familiarity more than anything else so i wouldn't be surprised if most of the crime syndicate guys are like down with the huts coming back I don't is, know. It, is that a devil you know situation i don't know because i feel like the jabba wasn't he seemed like a pain in the ass yeah yeah, maybe he was. I mean, well, I'll say this. They had, with Bib Fortuna, they probably had a big pushover. They could sure. probably do yeah. whatever the fuck they wanted. But, like, I, I wonder, like, what, like, how people are actually going to feel about this happening. I mean, like, if it's like, if they do this and they kill the Huts, does that just bring more heat down on Mon Espa? You know what I mean? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and so maybe they don't want that shit to happen. You know what I mean? So... Um, I don't know. There's a lot of there's some like kind of gangster tropes and stuff like that that I think that they're they're coming out. Even though they they said we talked about this in the live stream, which I thought was we always come up with a concept in the live stream that I think is brilliant. And the other one that we that we talked about was the debo the debauchery of Hutta. The debauchery of Hutta. Not the battle of Hutta. Not oh, the no, war they're of Hutta. <laughs> the debauchery of Hutta. What does that mean? A twenty year orgy, Sean. No, it's been going on. What is happening? What is happening on Hutta? Where it's like the entire planet, this entire nation state sucking and sucking. is sucking and fucking and writhing in their own cum and shit and piss <laughs> and whatever the fuck they're doing. That like the, Why the nation, would you leave? That the, like the, the the nation state is failing because they're just doing whatever. It's like Caligula Can't or stop something fisting. like that. <laughs> Not stop. Wow. Yeah, you, you use all your resources. We got to Kit. Fist. Fi yeah, we got Kit Fisto's hanging out over there. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, he and, showed him the ways he, of the fist over there. <laughs> You can't like um you know till your flower if you're knuckles deep in your sister all day. <laughs> right, exactly. One hundred percent. Dude, their arms are this big. Right, they got like, like teeth. I think it's more of a tentacle. I think it's more of a tentacle situation. I think the tentacles are kind of what's going Here's on. Here's my whole thing about uh -oh. huts. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are people afraid of the huts? Like, what the fuck? If you're in a fight with a hut. Hmm. Like you just like they're, no, they're, they're slow rich. as shit. No, they're rich. right. So they have other people do it for uh -huh. them. Right. But at a certain point, you just fucking like you just like walk away from them. It's not like they're fast. <laughs> I no, think no, no, no. some of them might be a Tony Soprano because remember the pilot episode of Sopranos and he like chased down a dude and like bashed in his kneecaps. But then there's also there's that one line that I remember, which is a great line from um uh from Goodfellas. You know about Paulie's character, where he's like Paulie moved moved slow, but that's because Paulie didn't have to move for anybody because he like had because. It's, it's it's that type of a thing like they're That's rich the huts. yeah like but 
as far as the physicality thing, I think you're right on the money, Dustin. Like, it's like you could literally, it's like it, you it, could push them over on their back. It's just like get like a really long, <laughs> get like a really long spear, and they're like, Whoa, yeah. and then just go yeah. bap, like each eye, bap, each eye, fucking one in the throat, you know, or whatever the fuck it is. Even though I think that we are gonna get some more flashbacks, I think at some point, I don't know if it's this episode or next episode or whatever, but we are gonna use the flashback structure to figure out how Fennec was, how he saved Fennec. After yeah, he left. that'll be cool. I, which I'm I, into that. Yeah, which, yeah, and it relates to the characters that are kind of, it relates to more than just his growth, because I think that we've kind of established that he's a very much a changed person and stuff like that after, from you know, post-Sarlacc shit. So, like, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I think there's a lot of things in play. I, I mean, the only way that we're going to know is if we've checked this shit out. You guys want to get going? Yes. Sure do. Hell yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us as we go through Book of Boba Fett uh, season one. If you guys want to get some early access, the day that we shoot them, if you can't wait until we pop those edits out on YT and you want to check it out, the day that we shoot them on Wednesdays, um, you get early access and full and uncut access to all of our Book of Boba Fett coverage, and you get it on the day that we shoot them um, over at our Patreon. Our Patreon, the link is in the top pinned comment and it's in the description below. There's a ton of stuff over there um, that you get for a pretty damn fair price, and we hope that you consider doing so. And if you can't do that, but you still want to help us out, hit us with a like and a subscribe. We appreciate you guys for coming by. All right, let's take a look at this here, Chapter 3. Here you see the businesses that were under the protection of the name that should not be spoken. <laughs> we're not talking <laughs> Voldemort. It's Jabba the Hutt. Moss Esper divided amongst three families. Oh. The mm. oh. The all those Doshans are trans? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way all those Doshans are trans. <laughs> Mayor has no power. Somebody else is behind that play. The Huts or Crimson Dawn. This guy. Hmm. Do they have an appointment? No, Mr. Shand. Mistress Shen, that's sick. Oh. <laughs> yes, mistress. Yes, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn right, absolutely. Who's going to step on my balls, Mistress Shen? <laughs> <laughs> I am Lord Appeal. I am a watermonger in the workers' ha! Oh, Stephen Fry. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh. I love it. No one respects you. Wow. <laughs> no, he's telling him the inside track. Yeah, yeah. A street gang of insolent youths has been stealing my inventory now. That Young punks. Young street trash. They are half man, half machine. They modify their bodies with droid parts. Interesting. That's cool. Bunch of fucking T. Well, bunch, bunch of TH hundred T eight hundreds. But yeah, also that's like basically Fennec though. She's half. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Having watched season one of Barry makes me like a little leery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh man, that show's so good. That show's unbelievable. I'm fucking stoked to start up season two. I just went through it. But it's like, so it's like these four people in this gigantic castle. That's kind of the big thing, is that he doesn't really have, like, that many people. A like, force, honestly. yeah. That's a crime. It's a crime what he charges. Mm. They're probably going to be cool. You're a crime boss. Just like the rest of them. These kids are like Occupy Droid Street or some yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, they are. I was about to say, yeah, they are. <laughs> Bunch of Android Ocasio Cortezes over here. <laughs> <laughs> then you will work for me. Oh no, it's when your dad is like, Oh, you're bored here. Come clean this shit. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do wax on, wax off. We're gonna get <laughs> Boba Miyagi over here. They stole from me! And you're just going to let them all. He's gonna make them fix his fence and shit. 1300 credits? Give them 500. What? They owe 13? Yeah, here we go. There you go. Take the 500 and consider it resolved. He's going for the youth vote. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Rest of you, gather up your gack, follow me. <laughs> gather up your gack? <laughs> I'm like, is that like Nickelodeon gack? They got a bunch of Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> Like, oh, my, my gack's kind of old. It's got a bunch of cat hair in it and shit. He's going to rat on some shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This whole setup. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. She <laughs> that was did like a it. Kill. Good job, Frog. Budweiser. <laughs> uh, we might, I wonder, we might not get like a big, we might not get a big fucking flashback thing in this episode. That'd be cool. 12 seconds later. 
Oh, never mind. Jesus, look at me. What a uh, fucking what, like. Of course. Well, I mean, even though this stuff is a little more interesting. I mean, he's dreaming about water because he was just fighting about water. Sure. He's dreaming about it, about that ship with the problematic name. So happy though, that ship. <laughs> well, it's not really happy. I mean, like it's kind of. It's he's just, got a little no, mouth. No, 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 no on the bottom. Look, one. Look, that's his unibrow. Though. No, no, yeah, that's, it, is. it is. You're thinking that's his unibrow. You're looking at. Yeah, it's underneath. the unibrow eyeballs. Happy face underneath. Oh, oh okay. It needs a unibrow. Okay, cool. I'm flipping it upside down. <laughs> Was he leaving? Well, stealing, I mean, their, <laughs> stealing their cow? Uh-huh. I think they're giving him one. <laughs> We're not going to get any flashbacks. Enter flashback immediately two seconds after. <laughs> no, yeah, Brian Howard. <laughs> Turns out they were. We're like... <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh. All those heads. And that's the shit from the first season of Mandalorian. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Oh, look who it is. Oh, is that uh, 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 Strangers with Candy? Yeah, that's Amy, Amy Sedaris. Sedaris. Or at least an Amy Sedaris stand uh, Yes, yeah. exactly. It's got her. It's, <laughs> it's got, got her hair. It's got her bitchin' fro that she had on in, the, in that part. We are happy to do business with either party. But we do not want to be taken advantage. So you gotta, you gotta massacre this fucking biker gang. Another episode, another biker gang massacre. Another biker gang massacre, man. What's the fucking the, the twin sons of anarchy? They're going after in this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't destroy all the Tuscans, did they? Oh no, no, it's it's the camp. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. whole Tuscan Raider camp. Oh, yeah, they're we all... fridged the fucking Tuscans. Are they all dead? I don't know if they're all dead. I don't see any bodies. Maybe they took them hostage. Ooh. Yep, oh, there's a no. few. Yeah, there's a she couple. They murdered the child. Dude. Well, you know they did. Oh, that's the chief. Oh, man. Oh. Fuck. See, I, I don't like fridging the Titan, the, the Tuscans. Yeah, that's what I. That's why I was worried about him. It's like, oh no, you gotta do a revenge thing. Yeah, we know who did it. <laughs> Thank you, Flashback. They're, they're, well, this yeah. is, they're, they're making this for babies, Morgan. Like I know. Even though we're burning the corpses in a pile right now, that's some yeah. old school Star Wars shit right there. Wow, the whole tribe is just dead. That's rude. <sighs> Oh, the little stick of the little guy. <laughs> if we didn't, I just hope we didn't fridge the whole fucking tribe. That seems to. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa Jesus. hi! Oh, holy whoa. shit! <laughs> and he's got no armor. God damn! You gonna kill Dang a man while he's sleeping? It. Yeah, he is. Attack him in bed. Oh, fuck. oh my god! He look. He looks like Frank when he was covered in hand sanitizer. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, <laughs> I just want to be pure. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Dude, he is so Fucking mean looking. angry. Yeah. yeah. It's really hard to fight a greased up thumb though. Yeah. You ever try it? Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh my god. Oh god, what is he cracking? Is he dead? No. What if he just died? What if they just oh, killed look at him? Fennec. Here we go. Oh wait, oh. Oh, nice. Oh, no, this little baby. Here comes his gang. His little lost children. Ooh. Are we going to kill this guy right? No, not right away. He's so cool. Ooh. They should stick him in the Rancor pit. Wow. He's like, fuck your pigs. Oh, shit. This little piggy went to hell. This, yeah, dude, this, <laughs> this little piggy went in the coffin. <laughs> Ooh, he's a biter. He he's, likes to bite. He likes to Mike bite. Tysoning him. Wait, they're gonna put him in the rancor pit. That's, That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, Stick shit. him in the rancor pit. And he can be the thing you feed people to. Just get down there, kid. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he like had bones cracked. Yeah. What was cracking? Or like, he just really got his back aligned. He's gonna be swimming in pig water later. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, some fucking hot why ham this, water over there. Like, why does this <laughs> taste like hot dogs? <laughs> no. Every time we go in there, I'm like, this is very vulnerable for like a crime boss. <laughs> These guys fucking on the struggle bus over here. 
Kiju Chrysanthemum Crispa. So even the huts pronounce her chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. What? Is it a rancor? Is it a rancor? It's a captured is rancor. A... Cool. Oh. With dating Wait, Trejo. Is that machete? I hate With his machete. Trejo's over fucking there. Fucking machete yeah, is. The... Is he gonna be the new rancor keeper? There we go. Oh, he's got a little eye patch. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. ooh. We're getting it. Nice. And what of the huts? What the fuck I do like that? A lot more sucking and fucking <laughs> going on over there. No war. We're lovers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Like, they're afraid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It's literally the most important fucking place in the universe. <laughs> oh. Wow, oh, they, gets, give him, they give him a rancor. He gets the BK broiler yeah. and a rancor. And poor Dude, if they get to team up with him, that's pretty fucking slick. Release him. Take it from an ex bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> skug holes. Are you going to be like, hey, you want a gig? Well, I don't know. He's pretty bad at his job. He had one job he could. I got to yeah. say, I mean, like, I was expecting him to be a little more formidable in a fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, one swipe and he's taking somebody's head off. But, I mean, at least they get a rancor. And they got a Trejo. We got the Machete 8000 over here, man. Like, this is fucking crazy. This is awesome. Why does it just lie there? It's depressed. <laughs> it's it's depressed. depressed. The space can feel such things. Oh. Or a complex creature. <laughs> That's why that guy cried. Right. I mean, he you died. know. Yeah. I want to learn to ride this one. You what? I want to ride it. Dude, are we gonna get him riding a rancor in this show? Yeah, yep. of course we are. <laughs> Cute. This could be a trap. Yeah, it just be like, The Bruh. twins gave this dog to him. What if they True. gave him a bitey dog? The prospect of him riding on the back of a fucking rancor, I think, is too it's too, too cool. delicious for them yeah. to. But. You're good thinking, though. Morgan would be a great crime lord, great gangster for sure. <laughs> like these just got a moped gang. Why are they the? Why are they Power Ranger colors? They are Power yeah. Ranger colors. That's pretty <laughs> slick. <laughs> why? <laughs> I think it's like a little send up to um, like like probably 50s, 60s roadster culture, like or Fanta. The, the... <laughs> Actually, I may be able to rearrange some of the appointments that aren't as time sensitive. Mm. Uh, so if you'll excuse me. I just love this Jeff dude over here on the fucking side. Yeah, it just <laughs> looks like a regular from Coles. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's just about to like give him a beer and a shot. Right. He tips he tips you a dollar, but in quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna break a dollar for the pool table? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There's like a big power vacuum. Everybody's fucking jumping shit yeah. because because Crimson Dawn is probably fucking coming over to fuck with sh fuck shit up. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is the slowest car chase ever. <laughs> I feel like they're going really slow. It seems a little slow. I think definitely definitely coming off of Nice. The train. To coming off of that train. <laughs> or they had that one speeder chase in Solo that was pretty rad. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, he's a cute little. Oh, they got their mod, their modifications heel. going. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I like his, All right. that was his little high heel that you can use as a weapon or just for. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that painting was awesome. I definitely want that painting in my apartment for fucking sure. Yes. Right on top. Oh, oh. fuck. All oh, the fruit market. Oh, fucking no, fruit. Oh, the cabbages. Oh, uh, my cabbages. <laughs> my cabbages. Oh, shit. Nice. Jetpack. It is working. He's gone. He's He's working with the pikes. Is he? Is he though? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's deal is.
It's the fishies. They arrived on the Starliner. Good work. Keep an eye on them. <laughs> I and I. Sorry. It's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're going to war. Then we will be ready. Oh boy. There we go. He's gonna try and go find some Tuscans, I think. Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember I'm, when they I'm, killed. Yeah, I'm betting that the Tuscans are not that all of them aren't dead. I think that probably that no the war just that camp. Yeah. Well, no, and the, I think the, even the lady uh, warrior we didn't see even her. Within I feel like the they would have. I think even within the camp, I think that there's. I mean, because there was a, like that was it was a it was a relatively small pile of bodies. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. So I think that they're they're around. They probably just they probably got the fuck out of Dodge, but like probably gonna call in a favor and have them come. With, or Stephen Root, Stephen Root, that's his name. I, just, I think I called him another Stephen. But um, that was a fun little cam. I mean, cameo, I guess. Maybe he'll maybe he'll maybe he'll uh, he'll come in on something or whatever it was. But uh, mm -hmm. maybe he'll come back in something. But He's coming back. BK Broiler's gonna come. He's gonna help. Help out. Yeah. He's probably gonna. I, I would bet that nobody fucking yeah there he is, there he is in the Uncle Frank, Frank Reynolds. <laughs> I just want to be sure. <laughs> it's just Frank Reynolds covered in sanitizer. Oh I'm sorry. It, yeah, that was that was too fucking good. Um, are we a little disappointed that the huts are already gone? That the huts maybe possibly yes. are already. Out I mean, of the it's story. within it's within character. Because why would you? They're not. They'll sit on the throne, they'll throw money at problems, but mm -hmm. they'd rather just be on debauchery island. Yeah, if they can't fix it with money, they don't really want to go to ya. Yeah, right. Like, That's they what... sent the Wookiee to kill him, but when it didn't work, they were probably like, I'm tired. <laughs> like, well, that was so much work. We tried. Yeah. Uh, They're like me. A hut's, I'm a hut where I'm just like, just give up. <laughs> just, just get old Morgan I'll, the hut. I'll just go, this is impossible. Like, I try it. Like, I bait, do a half-ass try and, and like, things uh, even a little bit hard. That's like, when you, that's like when we're shooting sometimes and you do the, you do the, the <laughs> wet, hot American <laughs> summer. Like, like, uh, 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 like, it's impossible. <laughs> We're trying to do something, it's just impossible. Like, give up. I, I think you guys are absolutely right. I think it is within within character. They want to fucking, they want to hang out. They want to sit on the thick throne. They don't want to work. Too, want, they want, if it was in place, like they basically were just like, if we can come in and assume the power structure that's in place, that'll be fine with us. But if we can't, you know, no big, de no big deal or whatever it is. Um. Baby Rancor. Baby Rancor. Still don't trust it, but I don't trust it because it seems so menacing. Where he's like, but I do think back. you're right in that we're just trying to get the, the Rancor writing scene. Yeah, that's, I no, might be reading the, too yeah, much into the, it. Yeah, that's that's the. I mean, it's, it's, it's I think it's just because Danny Trejo has played so many villains and shit like that and stuff. Yeah. Like he was like, "Don't worry, he'll be back." Like it just sounds ominous when he like, says I it. I almost felt like they were both gonna start cackling. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, no. But, I mean, I, yeah, I think just coming from his delivery just kind of lends itself to that. Um, but like, I think that um, I yeah, I, I just I just have a I would have a hard the prospect of him on pulling like a fucking Khaleesi and like showing up on top of a Rancor and parking the Rancor and shit like that would be the biggest fucking big dick move to like a fucking meeting. You know what I mean? Like, like Steph Green, like I gotta say, like for being like the, the and this one was directed by Robert Rodriguez as well. I mean that I'm with you, Morgan. Like that fucking that motorcycle fight was kind of fucking boring. Like I mean, like it was it, it had a couple of cute moments in it, and it had some like when they're going through the town, they're crashing into stuff. Like and they had like a couple. There was a, the point where like they did the jumps and stuff like that, but it just seemed really slow. It seemed so slow. Like that car was so wide and just like doo -doo -doo -doo. it was like a little clown car. Like <laughs> it's very like was it Austin Powers when the guy's screaming no, no! and the thing is going <laughs> right, so exactly. slow. It just kind. <laughs> I kind of felt a little like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, it's just a little, I mean, I still thought it was, uh, you know, it, like the idea of it, maybe, I don't know, maybe we're just, but then coming off of that fucking, you of that gotten killer Stephen fucking to like, train the, uh, sequence. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it just. It, it gets Stefan to direct the uh, car chase next time. I guess so. You know Rob, what I mean? Think that, Rob, Rob, he'd be, yeah, you think he'd be better. But. We've seen him be better in this universe because he directed, uh -huh. he directed the fucking Boba Fett episode where he With ganked the, the fuck out of like, 
18,000 stormtroopers, and that shit was rad. It was brutal. That was cool you know what style. I mean? And I don't know. I, I don't know if they just told him if they kind of, if they gave, if they had him, they're like, listen, we got to wear the kid gloves a little bit before we get crazy with this or whatever. But like, you know what I mean? Like he was, I mean, like that, like the, the action beats in his episode of Mandalorian in season two was fucking off the chain. Like he was like, you know what I mean? And so I don't know. I mean, like it, that's what's been weird. Is that like, and I don't think that like, they were necessarily bad in episode one. You know, they had a monster fight, a regular day in the monster fight. That was fun and that was okay or whatever it was. But I think, yeah, just coming off of the 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 the, the train the train sequence, which was so it's hard fucking to beat that train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I don't know, but like, but still not not a bad also, I not a bad sequence those, in and of itself. Like, but it was it was just like a those little bikes looking looking like silly. They remind me of. What was the prequel? Where in this they're in the city? Yeah, it just feels really out of place. What does? Also, are they like straw on the struggle bus? These kids are like street urchins, and it's like, why do you have like pristinely beautiful bikes? Like they're not even a little bit dusty. Mm. Well, it was that, weird. That, I mean, it could be like that's like the that part clocks. It does a lot of people where it's like, yeah, you may not have like you know your money for rent every month, but you have like one or two really nice pieces of expensive clothing. Cause like when you go out, you want to look nice ah. and like they have like their money is spent on like modifications and bike, but they also steal. Yeah. True. Yeah. So like true. Yeah. Yeah. They do like to crime. They still they're, look like, they like some to crime. Looking Power Rangers. Yeah, they, yeah. No, no. I think, I yeah, think the, the, cool the, kids. the brightness of it was definitely like kind of made it pop like to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. It just looked so. Where they're like, I'm going to be the yellow one and you be the pink one. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like, stupid. <laughs> right. But yeah, but thankfully the guy with the eye wasn't, didn't have the black motorcycle or anything like that. They didn't, they, they didn't get full Power Rangers with that oh, shit. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? like Power like, Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? We're going to do that? Really? I like the idea that these characters aren't tied to anything. I like the, That's you know, true. like maybe they would just be like a, a known gang or, or like a known, uh, like, you know, like part of the city or whatever. But I, I just like that we just have some characters that just, showed up and they get to exist for this story only. Yes. And that's no, actually one hundred percent nice. Yeah, and they got and they got their and they got their own kind of like kind of thing that they do. Like it's like we we mod ourselves out. We mod our bikes out and we mod our fucking selves out. You know what I mean? Like we do Oh, the they're whole... all skywalkers though. What's that? No, they're all solos. <laughs> oh, they're solos. Yeah, yeah, they're all solos. They're Han Solo's kids. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was fucking I all mean, across tattooing. Yeah, he was busting it inside like everything. Like, seems about that, right. There's a very. It's a. It's a very minimal cutaway scene, the, a deleted scene where Han is like got his arm around some lady chatting her at, chatting her up and everything like that sleazy scumbag shit like before he meets he initially meets up with uh, Obi-Wan and, and um with, with Obi-Wan to like talk the deal or whatever and stuff like that that they kind of took out of it but it's cool but it was just like oh yeah that's Han Solo as fuck for sure you know what I mean like mm -hmm. the um, <laughs> has a bunch of street kids oh yeah, yeah. absolutely I wonder do I I, I mean because are we gonna get is, is Han showing up in this show I could I'm 50-50 I'm right down the middle. Yeah, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't see why we need him. Well, within the story, I mean, yeah, oh, I mean, oh, the, you know, I mean yeah. How, I mean, how does how how would he fit? I could see it happen. I'm fifty fifty. I, when I started, I was like, they're absolutely bringing a de-aged fucking Han Solo into this shit. Now I'm not mm -hmm. so much. Now I'm like fifty fifty. So I don't know. But like, but yeah, I do think that the I do think that you guys are right on the money that we're gonna get BK Broiler back. I think he's gonna come back, like, because he's like, this guy's a solid dude. Nobody else let yeah. me. Nobody else would have let me through. They would have killed me or something like that or whatever. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, but I mean, like, it, a cool episode. I did think of like BK brother was gonna put a little bit more of a fight. Like, he just seemed like he was like, like the pro like you're asleep in a pod and and he doesn't just fucking like. Like yeah. punch through it and crush your skull immediately. Why didn't he just go whoop? Boop, boop, done. Yeah, I, I mean, like, it was a very He's surprising... the worst assassin ever. It was a very surprising scene, but just, like, the fact that, like... Yeah, you, ha you had him. Uh, yeah, you had, I, you it know, was a little... Unarmed guy, asleep, and a back to tank. You should have been able to pull that off. Yeah, I, I, that was a little, like... And where know. are the guards? Huh? There's no guards. No, 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 there's, like, eight people in that whole house. They don't... They probably just want to stay in the desert or something like that, but is he going to populate that thing with Tuscans? 
Because there's he nobody. Because there's nobody in that fucking. There's nobody in that fucking castle. There's nobody there. He right, needs right, a dang right. army. Is what he needs. He's, he's like got. Soldiers. He's got five Power Rangers, <laughs> two Gamorreans, and a Rancor now. I mean, the yeah. Rancor's going to help and out a, a lot. Like you know what I mean. And like the Rancor's going to yeah. help out a shitload for sure. Yeah. Um. And he's got a Trejo. Yeah, he's got, he's got a machete. It'll likely be like that. He kind of is able to call on a favor from whoever remains from that tribe, and then they also get to have a they get to have revenge against the Pike. Yeah, but was it really the Pike's problem that the Tuscan side? Because didn't it wasn't that the the, the biker side, gang? The biker gang did it. Oh, so the right. Pikes didn't really do. Oh, true, it. true, 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 true. I mean, they're just going. Or, well, I mean, they're going to war like, now. Remember those but... guys that used to fucking gun you down like twice a week or something like that, riding yeah. the fucking train. I mean, like you're not going to really need that thing. Well, so, they were saying that's who they were paying. That the, they that that they were paying them. Uh, so they probably hired. They probably paid them. Yes. Paid the biker gang to take out the biker the, gang. I yeah, see. they're like, we'll we'll pay them money to one, but not two. Yeah, gotcha. Right. And they probably out. talked to him because Boba fucking like fucked them up first. They probably went to them, yeah, you know, first right. or whatever. And they knew that that was happening or whatever the fuck. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Like, I don't know. It's it's pretty cool. Not too much flashback, which I was happy about. It was mostly mostly what's happening. Mostly now. in the current in the kind of the current present storyline and stuff like that, which I appreciated. And I think that that's kind of what it'll be. Like they'll have some stuff, but like. I think they're going to be less. The flashbacks are going to be less and less, which I'm into because, like, the kind of the forward trajectory of the of the world, I think, is is kind of what what I'm the yeah. most interested in, and has the most fun stuff. Yeah, we got a baby rancor. That's fucking great. You know what I mean? Like, you know. So I don't know. It'll be yeah. yeah I'm I'm excited for sure. I don't know, man. I just like. Well, I'm excited for that, and I'm excited to fucking hit you know to fire up the fucking live stream and talk with some of the fucking viewers and shit like that. This coming Sunday, which is what yep. we're going to be doing. If you guys don't know, we have a live stream that we do every week over. Um, uh, we're going to be doing it. Uh. 4 30 p.m central standard time um uh the bubble brunch breakdown and our friends over at a, another great reaction channel from late to the party are gonna fucking be joining us and i'm very excited nice. to check it up with them those so we're lucky we're, we're really stoked to have them on the show um and to be collaborating with them we're gonna be doing that and i mean like and then we also got the patreon which if people guys want to go on over to our patreon if you guys want to get early access to this all of the all of the future episodes of book of boba fett and pretty much everything that we cover on like disney plus or amazon prime they just kind of they just announced when the boys season three is coming out and i'm very stoked oh, that shit. the eight dollar vassal tier gets you early access the day that we we shoot them to all of those um so head on over there hit us up and help us put keep the lights on over here but if you can't do that but you still want to help us out um you can do just hit us with a like and subscribe it helps us out tremendously we appreciate it if y'all would and we will check y'all later